Hello guys, I want to do a quick and simple tutorial explaining effects in Unity. So, first thing you're going to want to do is right click in the hierarchy, go to effects, particle system. This is Unity's way of creating effects. So, particle system, it could be used in 2D and 3D games, but I'm going to go over 3D first. So this is our default particle system. In our inspector here, we got a bunch of settings we could adjust in order to change the look of our effect. So start lifetime, this would be how long we would want the particles to go on for. So if I have it for one, it's going to end off early. If I have it for two, it's going to go on for a longer duration. The start speed, which would be obviously the speed of the particles. So if I want it to go really fast, I would turn that up. So here we got our start size. This would be the size of our particles. So each particle, it would adjust the size of. So now I got it really small, but I'm going to keep it at default one so it's easier for you guys to see. Here we got our start color. Here we could adjust the color of our particles. So you can see a tab, a drop down tab right here. You have other kinds of settings you can mess around with. If you select random between two colors, you can select two colors. So now I got orange and red, kind of looks like fire in a way. So now we're going to go on to shape. Shape is important because this would be how we would want the particles to move. So I have it set to cone, so that's going to move upward kind of like in a cone in a cone shape. If we have it to sphere, it's kind of it's going to spread around and about, so left, right, down, bottom. If we have the box, it's just going to shoot right up. And yeah, go ahead and mess around with that as well. If you have it to circle, it kind of just spreads, you know, just from the ground. But I'm going to keep it at cone as default. Another important tab is the render tab. Here you could adjust the look of the particles. So. Right now they're just the default blurry dots that came with Unity. So like say if you wanted it to be like hearts or stars or something like that, you would have to turn it into a material and then select it that way. So I don't have too many to choose from. I didn't add any in. So I'm just using the default right now. But if you wanted to change the look of the particle that way, that's another way to do it. So yeah, that's enough with uh, 3D particle systems. So this same technique can work for 2D games and 3D games. If you're working on a 2D game, just do the same thing. Add in a particle system. It should show and display it that way as well. But usually in 2D games, sometimes it's usually ideal to use sprite sheets. So I'm going to go over that next and explain that with you guys. So now I'm going to show you how to create an effect from a 2D sprite sheet. So import your sprite sheet. This is what mine would look like. So make sure you have the 2D packages installed in the Unity. So click on your sprite, go to the import settings, select multiple, and then go to sprite editor. So we're going to want to slice these evenly. So it's important to find out what the size of one of your sprites is inside the sprite sheet. So go to grid by cell size. So I actually know that these are 128 by 128. Go ahead and slice. So now it should look like this. Slice evenly. It's not overlapping any. And then click apply. So Unity makes it very simple. All you have to do now is drag it right into the scene. And it's going to create that animation for you already. So now I'm going to go to our animation tab and I'm going to click play. And it already has it set up for us. Then you could adjust this, the speed as well if you go inside the animator controller. 
you could adjust the speed but you could only see that in play mode so yeah you could also do it manually if you wanted to but unity will already create that for you so yeah very simple tutorial I just wanted to explain how to work with effects real quick if this tutorial helped you guys out please give me a like and subscribe be very much appreciated and thank you for watching